future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders and the Rochester Red Wings. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. And now, Tim LaCastro. He will lead this one off today. Here's the one and two. Sixty four degrees our temperature here at first pitch this afternoon. Ready on one and two. Line drive snagged on a short hop and a good throw gets him one gun. Stepping in next Andrew Velasquez. Number seventy bases are empty one man out. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Number 38 finds it, and he makes the throw to first. Velasquez is retired, two down now. Next up, Chris Gittins. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Victor Robles digging in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One one home. I got two one the count. A swing and a miss two, there. Two, two and two. two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Fly ball out toward left center field. Frazier arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now to the plate, Jeremy De La Rosa. The left fielder. One out, nobody on. De La Rosa. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Chased it in the dirt. He makes the throw to first. Two down. That Digging in next, Rhett no Wiseman. Field. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. The 1-1 one, one home. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. Digging in will be Clint Frazier. Too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Now a curveball here. Nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Pitch on the way. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Clint Frazier goes quietly leading off the second. Now the 2-1 pitch. 
Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. At the plate, Estevan Florio. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Again, he sends it out of play. A payoff pitch one more time. Very weakly on the ground. Three, two, one more time. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. The designated hitter. Miguel. And he the three and one pitch. Aye. Okay. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now to the plate, here is Mandy Alvarez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Breaking ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. That's into the corner of foul ball and right. He set the three two heading out towards shallow right. Wiseman will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. Drew Mendoza who begin things here against Jamison Tyone. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and a miss on the fastball. One and, one and two. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Hit down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Oh, he's the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Now the first plate is Mike Ford. Mendoza aboard here at first with nobody out. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two is looked at, and the count moves full. Good battle. Count remains full. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. No, ball, and that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. That's a good. In is Jackson Flores yeah. trying here to plate the tying run yeah. from second. Working for the punch out and the offering. Struck him out. Next will be the designated hitter, number 88. He'll take his hitter. first hacks here. The 1-1 one, one home. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the field for that thing moving right, forward. Two balls and two strikes now.
grounded back up the middle. Barehanded for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And set to go is the second baseman, Tim LoCastro. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and, one and two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Just hung in there on that one. Here's another one, two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Stepping in once again is Andrew Velasquez. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. He's fallen yep, behind now. Out. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Next up is Chris now Gittins. Is 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Chris. So look over first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Gotta believe that runner from first is gonna be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are gonna be moving. And it's fouled away. Try it again, three and two. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Wiseman is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. Edge of the zone that time taken, and move the strike. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping up as the shortstop, Samuel Infante. The one two. Misses for oh, the second ball. Great. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Popped him up. And there's the first out. So now into the box is number 38. And he's ready to take his first cuts. Now the one and one pitch is a fastball that misses. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Victor Robles. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The one-two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Ball 
all set for the start of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Aaron Hicks. Yeah, and he wasn't fooled at all by the changeup last time. Kept his hands back and absolutely destroyed that ball. So I got to think he's not going to see a changeup in this scenario right here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he will make it there safely as he fires off the fourth with a leadoff triple. Now that the right field. Escobar. In now, Estevan Florio fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 2 0 ball game. And he is in to second base with an RBI double. Now batter. The designated hitter. So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific oh, starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs. So getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. Here now the 2 2. Swing and liner. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first out. So now here is now Rob Brantley. He flew out in his last A.B. Florio at second. And Duhar is over at first with one away. Fouled away. The next one-two pitch. ball misses inside. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. Now into the box, Tim LoCastro. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. To the left side, but it's well fouled. And another foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Swung on and missed strike three. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Jeremy De La Rosa. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they Three need balls. to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. The right fielder. Now at the plate, Rhett Wiseman, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Runner at first here, one man out. No time. Yeah. In there, one and two now. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Sent on the ground out to second, and there are two He's away out. now. Here's Mike Ford, runner in scoring position with two the first guns. Mike Ford. He 
set and the 2 1 pitch. I got 3 1. 3 balls, 1 strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Inside, nope. he misses ball, ball four. four. So the next to bat will be no Jackson bat Flores, two. struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Hicks. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Now it'll be Andrew Velasquez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. <laughs> 2 2, here it is. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Velasquez is retired, and there's one away. Now batting. The first Ready base. now is Chris, Chris Gittens. He struck Gittins. out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. Now the 2 1. Grounded softly to the right. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. Two out, nobody on. Hey. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Hit hard on the ground is short. He's got it. Throw to first, beats got him it. easily, and the side is retired. Into the box, number 88 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And the pitch. He's Outside, falling behind now, 3 and 1. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. 3 2 pitch. Popped him up. Brantley over to his right and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Next to stand okay. in is Samuel That's Infante popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah Maddie and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone and as a result didn't really put a good swing on that. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. Next, it'll be number 38 looking number to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here it comes on one and one. One and two now. One ball. Hey, two offense strikes. needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he fouls this one off. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Patrick Murphy takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 52. Patrick. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. Here now the 2-2. I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on it. Throw to first He's gets out. him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now that, and that'll like bring you. in Esteban Florio. It was an RBI Florio. double for him in his last turn to the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. 
And that's He's the out. second out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. It was a walk in this trip. Here comes the one two. Is laid off nope. for ball two. ball two. Hit out towards second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Now batting. Third base. Mandy. Stepping in now, Mandy Alvarez. Alvarez. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here, as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Now batting. Catch it. Into the box now, Rob Brantley. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. I hop, and he barehands it. Hit hard on the ground is short. Scooped up. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Standing in now, Tim LaCastro. Line hard toward right center. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the second run will score. A 4 nothing game. The batter, number 71. To the plate now, Andrew Velasquez. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Hard this sinker thing, misses two and two. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Looked the like the curveball slipped three, out two. that time. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And not in time as the run scores. Ben Bramer trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Into the box, Chris Gittins. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. of the sixth inning now and standing in the outfielder Victor Robles and it's fouled away here now the 2 2 line hard to center field Hicks is right there one down Next now to him, Jeremy De La Rosa. It was Jeremy. a walk in his last trip. One out, nobody on. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Up next, Rhett Wiseman. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Wiseman. Ball two. Grounded to third. Takes a nasty hop and he's unable to haul it in. Now batting. Third baseman. Through. And now, Drew Mendoza. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. 
Oh, and that all developed too late to get him at first, and now the bases are loaded here. Now that the first baseman. Mike Ford. Stepping in now, Mike Ford. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Into the corner and slicing foul. De La Rosa, the runner at third. Wiseman over at second. Mendoza at first, one gone. Left side, but well fouled. The 2 2 one more time. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now to bat, Jackson Flores. 22. No hit scoring to this base point. Base. Not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Flores. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and next it'll be the outfielder, Clint Frazier. The 1 1. It's ball taken field. down and in for a ball. On the ground to the right side. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Now back the seventh field. Aaron Hicks. Into the box now. Aaron Hicks. He tried to get that one, one airborne, but it's one and two. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Standing in now, Estevan Florial. None out, runners at first and second. Well, now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here's the payoff pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run will score from second here as that breaks it open to a 6 nothing lead. Now that designated hitter, Miguel. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. Fastball called strike one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. At the plate now is Mandy Alvarez and their runners at the corners now. Alvarez. Ready with the one and one. Runners are at the corners one with one man out. Two strikes. To two, two balls and two, two strikes strike. now. I think he's shown you right there. He was trying to put you away with the off-speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away. That'll keep you on all stuff, fastballs and the off-speed. The 2-2 two -two one more time. So long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So next to hit is Rob Brantley. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. The 1 1. 
is looked at for ball number two. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The count now at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. In the air, out to right. Wiseman will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Reggie McLean will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 39. So here is number 88. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 1-1 one, one is a sinker that misses for a ball. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favor three and one. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Next to dig in, no batter, Samuel Infante flew out Shortstop. last time up. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. The 1-1 home. Nope. A couple strikeouts Count early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Right, two swinging just out in front of the slider. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, if you were on that fastball middle away, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, 6 inches. Lifted in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So the batting order turns over now and the set batter. to go. Victor no Robles. Fielder. No hits in three Victor. tries so far. He's struck out once. The one two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Florial makes the catch to retire the side. So the lineup flips over and digging in Tim LoCastro. He'll start us off in the eighth. A good pass at that ball just a little late and now the count's full. The three two pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Wiseman has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. And now here is Andrew Velasquez, singled in his last at bat. Three-two pitch. Turned on down the line, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Throw into second, and he'll pull into second with one away. Aaron Barrett enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to the keep the deficit game. right where it is. Yeah. So now to the plate, Chris Gittins. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks now the first is. man he faces. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Velasquez on Hittens is over at first with one away. Fouled off.
Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Wiseman is there, and he makes the catch for the out. So stepping in is Aaron Hicks. Hicks. He steps in off a base hit in his Aaron. last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And that's through and to left, a base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Now batting the right fielder, Esteban Florial. To the plate now, Esteban Florial. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder coming in. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Stepping in, Jeremy De La Rosa. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. The one. Ball, that pitch is up. Nope, Ball that's three, it. not close with the sinker that time. Rhett Wiseman is on deck. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Payoff pitch home. Pulled toward right center field. Florial has it, and there is one away. So next to bat will be Brett Wiseman. Last time through was a base hit. Now the three and two pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Now, so now, four hole hitter, Drew Mendoza. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Mike Ford would be next. Chopper to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold yeah, off balls. on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Two and two the count. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now batting. Stepping up is Mandy Alvarez. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Now the one and one pitch. Ball that's high. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off again, ball three. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. He's set. Here's the three and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another full count pitch home. Hit hard up the middle. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Now back, the captain, Rob Brantley. Into the box, Rob Brantley. No one contact there, and it's one and two. Fouled away. And he 
fouls this one off. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. I, got count. Two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. Relay to first oh. in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And here is the outfielder, Mike Ford. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That's and this is low, ball two, two and one. No offer at that one. It's a two cold ball, strike. Two strike. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Second baseman. Next, it'll be Jackson. Jackson Flores. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got to hurry. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Next, here is number 88. He bounced out last time up. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Ball and the sinker runs too low here as he loses him. It's ball four. So no now to the plate, seven. Samuel Infante. Man at first after the two out walk. Now the one and one pitch. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. All even now, two and two. A runner on first with two away. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. LeCastro is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, a nine-out save? That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. A 7-0 shutout final today. The Rail Riders took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jamison Tyon gets the W on the mound. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshow.com. Fans are final line score.